surroundings like this make favorable a breeding ground for mosquitoes with stagnant water, bushy environments and poorly disposed waste. Ending malaria in Uganda becomes challenging. These were some of the issues raised as the Uganda Parliamentary Forum on Malaria held a dialogue with government and other development and support partners. And now in this dialogue, I want to challenge all of us partners in the fight against malaria to make this one of the critical issues we have to talk about whenever we get an opportunity to speak to our people. Stakeholders want a COVID-19-like approach towards ending malaria with more commitment. So we want uh, government and the scientists to take up this discussion. You try to convince us that Uganda is different from the countries that are on the list that has eliminated malaria, countries that have done laviciding. Otherwise, we are convinced that laviciding is possible. In Africa, Algeria is the third country to be declared malaria-free by World Health Organization. This is the path that Uganda is taking with 25% targeted for reduction by 2025 and total elimination by 2030. Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taiwa, says it is possible. Our biggest effort is that we better use the voice and power we have as parliament. We shouldn't be whining, we shouldn't be complaining, because we are the ones who appropriate. We are the ones who appropriate money to be squandered when we have opportunities when we have issues that require very, very serious attention and costing little money. Africa is said to be the greatest contributor of malaria cases, standing at 95%, which is 230 million. Of these, six African countries, including Uganda, contribute 55%. Uganda is recorded. To be the third contributor of malaria in Africa after Nigeria and DRC, and seventh highest contributor of death at 3.2 percent. When they come up with a strategy which they've studied and understood very well, you are saying, "No, you can't come to my constituents and you spray. You are going to kill us." Where is your submission based? What is it based on? I think as politicians, we need to really respect science and provide them all the necessary tools to study, to do more research, and design solutions that will save us. With new approaches proposed, members of the Parliamentary Forum express willingness to change these trends. People should actually know that malaria remains one of the uh, major killers in this country. So let people learn to seek medical attention timely. They should not delay. Because what we are realizing across the country is that we now have serious shortages of blood. That is why we are calling upon all the Ugandans to donate blood. Everybody does his part. By 2030, there will be no more malaria in Uganda, just as the case is in those other countries. One of the practices that patients are being advised against in the fight against malaria is self-medication. Henry Okrut, UBC.